So I've just leveled up our forces from the previous battle, and I've also explored a little bit about the character customization you can actually do. Welcome back to Freeman Reformers. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. And what have I found out? Well, just take a look at this Armored Marauder right here. So you know usually Armored Marauders, they usually have a weapon, a primary weapon here. And I've actually taken it off him. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's actually really cool because what you can do is if you recruit someone, you get their equipment as well. So if you want, what you can do is you can literally go to, I, I don't know, you can try and earn a huge amount of money. So let's say you earn like 10,000 or something like that. And then you buy a unit for like 7,000 or something. And he comes with full armor and an amazing weapon and maybe even some grenades, maybe something like that. And then you can take that all off him and then you can wear it yourself if you want. So that, that is actually really cool in my opinion. So what are we going to do now? Well, the best thing for us to do after that battle is to probably go into this nearby town here. Because if we go into the nearby town, we can probably go to the marketplace. We should probably sell a couple of things. Because as you can see, I have a whole wide variety of different stuff and they are actually going to pay a pretty decent amount for canteens but i don't think i have any canteens on me so i'm just going to sell what i can here i have an important file on me apparently so we are obviously going to be keeping that for the quest and i'm just going to sell all of this oh i am not going to sell all of this iron wait a minute i've actually forgotten yes i forgot that we have a quest to uh to give iron to the to that village right yeah okay yeah Whew, that was a close one that was a very close one okay so thankfully, I can just sell all of this stuff because I do need to make sure that we are moving relatively speedily on the world map. We can't move too slowly because if we move slowly, we're going to have a huge, huge problem. So let's see what I can do here. I'm just going to get rid of this. I'm actually thinking I might sell the police vest because I'm not going to be able to wear it that soon. And how much money am I going to get for this? We're actually going to get 2,400 so far. There is a pistol. Maybe I should use this pistol. Maybe it's better than what I'm, what I'm currently using. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure about that. And basically, I'm just trying to make it so that we move as quickly as possible. So otherwise, what can we do? We can sell some of our vegetables, I suppose. That actually has a pretty significant effect. So maybe we should get rid of more of our food. I mean, we have a whole bunch of it as it is. Let's get rid of the wheat as well, and the beef, and there we go. Okay, so we're moving at basically good amount of speed right now, so that's pretty nice. Uh, is there anything else here that I can actually buy? No. All right, so we just got 2,700 credits. Pretty fantastic, and that means that maybe I want to go in here and see if I can maybe buy something, but I think my marksmanship level is extremely low, so I would need to buy something, maybe like a shotgun or something like that. Because a shotgun is probably going to allow me to one-shot kill most enemies if they are right beside me. So that, that kind of makes a bit of sense. So maybe we should go for something like that. Let's go for a Remington. And then we'll buy a couple of rounds for that, if at all possible. A couple of shells, if we can. Is it Does it use 12 gauge? Yeah, it uses 12 gauge. Okay, so I will just take a whole bunch of ammo there. There we go. Okay, so that was a pretty significant expenditure, but I think getting a new weapon is usually a really good idea. Now, what else do we have here? So technically, I could I could have maybe purchased a militia sniper, but I think I think we're pretty good as we are. So, whoa, armed bodyguards are ten thousand. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm actually going to get another militia SMG fighter. Am I? Or maybe a rifleman? Let's get another rifleman. Seems like a fun idea to me. All right. So what we're going to do now? is we're going to take a look at the map and we're going to see uh let me see just go to go to our quests right here okay so yeah okay so this <laughs> this is the big quest that you are tasked with when you first you know start a game of freeman and you have to liberate all cities pacify all wars and unify the mainland as you can see by the money it is ludicrous crazy crazy amounts of money i'd love to have some of that Unfortunately, we won't be able to do that right now. We'll just have to concentrate on this. So 11 units of iron ore. And I don't think I have enough just yet, do I? How much do I have? I have 10. 
Great, I have 10. Okay, well, what we're going to do is I'm going to place my weapon here. Now I have a shotgun on my back. That's pretty cool. I, I like the fact that it, it has a uh, cosmetic addition to your character as well. So that's really nice. Otherwise, we're just going to add some 12 gauge here. Should have maybe purchased some additional med kits because I ate those like candy in the previous fight. So I think I'm probably going to do that. Where do I find that out here? There we go. Wow, these are actually really expensive. Okay, so I'm going to buy another two of those. I should not eat these like candy because they are quite expensive. So I'm just going to put another two on there. That sounds that sounds pretty good to me. All right, so let's go to Dubno. Let's go to Dubno. Maybe I should just go to the Iron Mine again, though. If I go to the Iron Mine again, maybe that would make... Ah, uh, this place is abandoned. Oh, okay, so it's going to take a bit of time for it to refresh by the looks of things. Could go to the Black Market over there, see what that's all about. Mercenary Camp, I suppose, is for hiring some guys. Maybe that would be an idea, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to go and talk to the bartender and we're going to rent a hotel room because I kind of want to get my people back on their feet and hopefully this will kind of give us a bit of a respite because I'm a bit worried about being attacked by bandits when we're just waiting somewhere random, you know what I mean? So hopefully we will be ready to move out after this. We've got some news here. What do we have? State of Anarchy with many warlords fighting to rule the island. And there's our expenditure report. What? What? what, what? Okay, 4,000. We lost 4,500. That, that was our expenditure. That's pretty harsh. Oh well, never mind. As you can see, these guys are now almost ready to basically fight. So let's reward them a little bit, get their morale up. And then we will be moving onward. Uh, actually, let me see if they have some iron. It's highly unlikely that they'll have iron, isn't it? Well, apparently it is. That's kind of a shame. Okay, well, let me... Uh, ah, there is there is another town in Pozna territory, so we will go over there. And someone was kind enough to tell me that you can actually speed up the game by holding Y. As you can see, look, there's Y. Ah, oh, fantastic. That's actually really cool. That's a, that's a nice addition as well, because I was missing that for quite some time. So that's that's pretty nice. Otherwise, we don't have anything else here. There's no iron to get, which is unfortunate. So I guess what I will have to do is... Uh, I guess what I'll do is actually go into the marketplace here because I would like to get some 9mm rounds because I actually forgot to get those for our pistol. So we're going to have to buy a couple of those at least. There we go. All right, so let's go in here and we're just going to place this stuff in our pistols little ammo place here which is pretty fantastic i like the fact that there are different ammunition slots as well because you don't want pistol and shotgun ammunition in my case in the same exact area so uh there's no iron here right so there's no iron is there another iron mine somewhere around here there isn't. Uh, there's an amber mine over there. That's going to be very profitable, but I would assume that it's going to be quite heavily guarded, I would expect. Maybe we can head back over in this direction, and maybe we can try and take the iron mine again. Maybe we can try and go there. Maybe there'll be a couple of bandits that we might be able to fight, because we are in a pretty decent location right now. I mean, in terms of health. And maybe we can do something about that. It doesn't seem like it. There's a terrorist camp. We're not going to be able to deal with the terrorist camp. Not right now, at least. It would be really cool if we could, though, obviously. Maybe I can go to the black market and see if they have any iron there. No, this is just for weapons. Ooh, these are... Oh, what? Okay, that's... Ah, yes. These are kind of crazy. Amazing weaponry right here. So if you are... If you are someone that has more money than you know what to do with then you should probably come here because this is a well i want this i want this right now this is a 50 caliber machine gun with all of these attachments supported that's kind of crazy wow really nice okay so yeah i guess what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to just wait here for some time a little bit more and hopefully the iron mine will come back relatively soon all right so this is going to be one of our first battles which is on a slightly larger scale to what we have previously experienced. Now I have my Remington shotgun here. I'm a bit worried about using it, but I think it's probably going to be slightly better for me than the pistol because the pistol I find pretty hard to use because it does have 
you're you're quite far away from the from the crosshair you know what i mean so it is a bit difficult to aim with it but we did get a couple of kills in the previous episode with it so i you know i'm not going to discount it for any reason because it is a good backup weapon anyway what we're going to do is we're actually assisting some posna recon squad with their attack against these bandits now i'm a bit worried about this to be honest because i think these guys might be kind of difficult but I can't, I can't really say anything about it just yet because I really don't know. But yeah, Mountain Bandits. Not entirely sure about Mountain Bandits for the moment. Hello. Ooh, okay, hello, hello. Okay, don't, don't kill me yet, please. Thanks very much. Okay, let's just put my people into the trees here. I did heal myself once again. Where is he? Wow, he almost killed me. He literally almost killed me with one shot. Ugh, oh, you know, I'm going to need to heal myself again. Okay, my guys are here. Hopefully they're going to actually do some damage. Where is the enemy? He's shooting from behind that tree, I believe. Is he? Can't really see at the moment. Uh, let me see if I can... Ah, there we go. Is that him? Oh, is he, is it, was he killed by that sniper elite? I think he was killed by that sniper elite, so... Nothing really to worry about there. Uh, there's only six enemies remaining. I kind of wanted to get a kill, to be honest. I'm kind of antsy about that, because if I can get a kill, then I think we'll probably level up, and that would be very, very important for me to do. But as it stands right now, it seems very, very difficult to find enemies that are not easily able to murder you. Ah, hello there. There's actually someone right there. Do you think I can kill him with this shotgun from all the way over here? Never in a million years, you say? Well, let's have a look. Maybe I can sneak over. Okay, let, let's be let's be quiet. Do you see there's another one over there as well? Well, they're shooting at us. Well, that's not very good. Oh, one of my female militia was killed. That's not very nice. Oh, Ahmed Marauder got his own back. That's nice. Cool. I like it. Can I actually do some damage, though? That's the thing. Ow. Don't shoot me! Ah! Yes, this is what it would be like. Okay, I'm safe. Phew! Okay, I'm, you know what? You know what? I'm actually just gonna heal. I am literally just wanting to get a kill. Or, or two, maybe. But I gotta say, these, these enemies, they're pretty damaging, and it's a shame that I can't sneak up on them a little bit better, but, well, you've seen what my character looks like. He sticks out pretty obviously, so it would be kind of easy for them to, to see me. I'm just gonna charge over here, actually, and see if I can maybe do some damage from the flank, perhaps. But as it stands right now, I think we basically have them dead I think let's just move my forces a little bit well I don't see any famous last words that's what's gonna happen you know it's gonna happen I did hit that guy a, a couple of times at the very beginning oh hello yeah there they are there they are right so let me just heal myself real quick and then I'm just gonna run yeah, it's just run back to a tree or something, and uh, maybe we can then ambush them a little bit. Okay, so they are right there, so if I move my forces just a little bit forward, we might be able to get them some additional experience, because obviously if the Posner are getting the kills, then we are not getting the experience. We are going to share some experience at the very end. I'm hitting them. You see that? I'm actually hitting them, but obviously because this is a shotgun, it's not very good from long range, but... Ooh, is it? Is it good, though? I actually got a kill. Fantastic. Kind of surprised. I got him. <laughs> I don't care. If you killed me, I don't care, because you know what? I leveled up. That's all that matters. That is all that matters to me right now. So there you go. I actually did level up, so that's fantastic. I did kill one, but then he took me out. So obviously, that's just how it is. But I am very, very thankful that we did get that experience. And I'm just going to actually allow the Posner to finish up the battle. 
and hopefully we will gain a pretty significant reward for just participating and actually supporting them a little bit. We did get a couple of kills and my forces actually did okay. Well, it seems like the Posner have not found the opponent, but it appears our guys have found the opponent and finally taken him out. Oh, that, that was, okay, that was not, that was not worth it, unfortunately. Credit, <laughs> credit gain of 100 and XP gain of 50. That was kind of harsh, but we did get a light black vest, which we can sell for a potential good amount of money. And we do have the opportunity to take this guy prisoner, which I suppose is pretty good. I was very much hoping to get a little bit of extra cash from that, admittedly, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to continue on to probably... Ooh, can I actually travel across the river there or... Mm, don't think so. I'm going to travel to one of the villages and see whether they can potentially sell me some iron. I think that would be quite nice. And maybe I could wait there for some time, or if I can't wait there for some time, then I could go over to the nearby town as well. So let's have a look here. Marketplace. They do have a... Ah, there we go. They actually do sell iron for a decent amount of... Yeah, not, 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 not that much. Not that much cash. Wow, th these guys have massive... Is that is that me? No, that's not me. They have a huge amount of money. So I guess I'm going to sell that. I'll sell this pistol as well for a thousand. I think that's pretty good. We can sell this too. There we go. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, so now we, what we can do is we can go all the way over to this village over here. Hopefully not getting stopped by anyone that wants to murder us. And uh, hopefully we'll be okay. Oh, hello, hello. Be careful, there's some looters and bandits there. Technically we could probably take those guys on, but I don't really want to risk it at the moment. Because I think what we can do is once we have completed this quest... Ah... Uh, do you have any missions? Uh, did I did I not complete it in time? Wait, let me have a look. No, 22 hours left. Bring it back to Cochiniv. Cochiniv? I don't know. This, this is this is this. So. Um. Do I not have? Do I not have eleven? I think I, I have eleven, of iron ore. Th this is th is this not iron ore? I mean, this is iron, but maybe it's not iron ore. Oh dear! If I have if I have completely misunderstood, what what I actually need, even though I have not seen iron ore before, have I? I don't think so. And I did go to the iron mine, and I got iron from it. So. I assume that that's actually the case. I mean, look, there's iron here now as well. And I don't think there's actually iron ore available. I don't remember seeing any iron ore, so that that's a bit weird. Not entirely sure what's going on with that. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'll wait here for some time because I am injured. All right, so because we have leveled up, I have one point to spend in terms of marksmanship. So I suppose I'm going to advance my marksmanship just a little bit. And we should probably do something about our stealing as well, because stealing is probably going to be a pretty significant way of making money. And I'm also going to improve my shotgun proficiency, because I really do need to have more damage on that. I probably could have increased my armor as well, but, well, how much is armor really going to help me if they kill me in two hits anyway? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to try once again to go into the village here and uh, do I just go into the marketplace and sell it here no surely not because there's nothing here for for that which is Super weird. Okay, well, that might be a bug. I'm not entirely sure about that, but uh, I am at the right village, and I, yeah, I, I don't know, because I, I don't want to steal, and I don't want to extort, and I don't want to plunder them at all. I could, I guess I could hire some villagers, but that's basically all I could do, so that is a bit of a shame, because I did get all of that money, uh, all of that iron, shall we say. I'm going to level up these forces as well. There we go. And that is 
that is very cool. I think we're getting our party into a really nice place at the moment. And what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go into my prisoners here. Propaganda, propaganda? No. Torture? There we go. Okay. And then let's persuade him. And now we have him in our party. He's got a shotgun. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so technically what I could do right now is I could go here. I could take this from him. I could take all of this from him, actually. And I could sell all of this stuff. And I could basically make, make some money from that. And then it doesn't really matter what happens to him. I know, I know. A bit, uh, a bit mercenary for me to think like that. But that is possible. And I think that's really cool. I think being able to do that is really, really nice. Anyway, let's see what else I can do here. So 3,000... Hmm, we could get something else. We could get another rifleman, which might make sense. So let's get another rifleman. I have now only a thousand money, which is pretty bad. But on the bright side of things, I'm going to attack these bandits and we're going to see how it goes. So I have spotted the enemy. I know exactly where they are. They're right over by these trees. So I'm going to try and move my forces to have the upper hand. Actually, wait a minute. Right here is where they should probably wait. And I'm going to get to the side of this tree here because I have no medkits. I decided to go in here without any medkits, which was a really good idea. And uh, I'm actually kind of not wanting them to go there. Oh, dear. This is problematic. Okay, you know, clear all waypoints. Let's just have them wait there or uh, actually just retreat a little bit, actually. Oh, dear. Are they actually running right into them? Yes, I think they are. We might be okay. I mean, we've got some slightly higher than usual units. Oh, they're actually moving back as well. Okay, I'm going to move back as well then because I was a bit, I was just like, oh, let me, let me go and support them. Okay, you should probably not waste your ammo like that. Thank you very much. Okay, so... This is exactly the kind of situation I did not want to have happen because they are now going to have the upper hand, basically, unless our forces can get back here. And in which case, we might be okay then. Because I think we have longer range weapons than they do, with the exception of my shotgun, of course. Oh, what? Why are they? Uh, why are they all the way over there? Can I actually hit them from over here? No way, not in a million years. Okay, so basically, what I can do is I can move them around here, maybe, and then we can kind of just move them like so, and then maybe we can do something about that. I do have to be careful though, because these guys—they might look at that. They actually hit me from all the way over there. Are you serious? That is kind of insane. I'm not entirely sure how they were able to do that. I think that might that might need to be toned down a little bit because they are able to they are just looters and they are doing this much damage to us from what what almost halfway across the map. I don't know. I think that might be a bit much. Oh, hello. Yeah, yeah, okay, yes. That was that was not going to work. That was just not going to work. I mean, they outnumbered us pretty hardcore and they wow, they actually have a Posner Commando as a prisoner? That's very interesting. Wow. Okay. So yeah, those guys, a bit too harsh, a bit too harsh, maybe a bit too accurate for, you know, for them being so far away. And unfortunately, that meant that we were unable to take them down. But Freeman is still one of my favorite games and is it's definitely one of those one of those things that I'd love to see you know, in, in the full version, because I can imagine how amazing it is going to be because it is already fantastic. So if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. And uh, maybe in the next episode, we will do a little bit better. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some trading off screen just to get some cash. And then we'll see what we can do after that. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.